Hey everyone, thanks for tuning into Crypto ZX. I really appreciate you stopping by my channel today. To all my viewers watching my video right now, can I please ask you guys to smash that like button and hit the red subscribe button if you haven't already. This does help with the channel tremendously and it also keeps me motivated on making videos for you guys. But with that being said, let's jump right in today's content. Just a quick reminder guys, uh, before I begin, I would like to say the disclaimer, anything on this channel should not be taken as financial advice because I am not a financial advisor. Cryptocurrencies are super volatile, so please do your own due diligence and research before investing in these markets. Looking at the overall crypto market cap today, we are currently sitting at $1.37 trillion. We're down 1.9% in the last 24 hours. Meanwhile, BTC dominance is climbing up and currently sitting at 44.2%. On CoinGecko, we are seeing the overall market cap and BTC dominance a little bit, uh, you know, not accurate, uh, but as of recording this video, BTC dominance is sitting at 46.3%. Looking at the overall markets, guys, we are seeing some mild green across the board in the last one hour, but majority of the markets in the last 24 hours are down quite significantly. One thing I want to point out for you guys is you guys can see Bitcoin is down 1% in the last 24 hours, but we are seeing altcoins bleed even harder compared to Bitcoin. And that is mainly due to the fact that Bitcoin dominance is increasing as we speak. Now comes the question. This is an urgent update. We will go over what is going on and where we could be seeing the entire cryptocurrency market go in the immediate short term. Um, obviously, today is Tuesday. The weekend is over. So... As you guys may know, we do tend to see a lot of whale manipulation occur over the weekends. Uh, but today is Tuesday and we are sitting at some critical price levels for Bitcoin as we speak. So now comes the question, where are we going in the immediate short term? Uh, if you are not a regular viewer on my channel, you guys missed my um, videos um, prior to this one. I did mention what was going on over the last few days in the cryptocurrency markets we were seeing a major major battle between the bulls and the bears and let me show you exactly what i mean on the charts so as you guys can see we did see uh the price of a bitcoin fall down to this uh you know twenty nine thousand nine hundred and forty seven dollar level since then we did see the bulls come out and save the day push the price of bitcoin towards the upside we went above $36,200 level, were unable to close above here, bears came in, pushed the price of Bitcoin below, and we went below this level of support at this $33,300 mark. We saw bolts come out once again guys, push the price of Bitcoin up, unable to break above this resistance once again. We saw the bears come out once again and you guys get the picture. And so far we did not have a winner as to... Uh, you know bulls or the bears are winning this battle but right now as you guys can see we are below this level of resistance i'm sorry not level of resistance level of support at this thirty three thousand uh three hundred dollar mark you guys know how important this level really is for bitcoin and as of now we are currently sitting below it so the door is definitely open uh, to go below $30,000 and that is right on the table as we speak. So, you know, if you're an altcoin holder, you need to be watching this video very, very closely because at the end of the day, we know Bitcoin is the king of the markets and when Bitcoin goes towards the downside, we will definitely see altcoin market a follow. Right now, one thing I want to point out for you guys is as you guys can see, when we went below uh, $30,000, we do have a lot of buying pressure coming in to save the day. You guys can see the initial drop that we did see all the way to $29,800 level. We did see volume come in and, um, you know, we went, you guys can see here as well. We went below 30 k We saw the volume come in once again. And here once more, here once more, basically we were at $30,000. So this does not come, but you guys get the picture. Both times when Bitcoin's price has dropped below $30,000, we did see a lot of volume come in. Uh, you know, there's a lot of buying pressure around those levels for Bitcoin and we did see a bounce back up. But now comes the question, are we heading below, you know, 30K and even possibly down to $25,000? Um, let's go over if that is the possibility. Right now, like I mentioned, that is definitely a possibility because the door uh, is open 
uh, for us to go below 30k when we are below this level of support at this $33,300 mark because this is basically playing as the last life support for Bitcoin. So unless, uh, you know, we, you know, if we're unable to close above we do have three hours to go if we're unable to close above this level guys then things could be looking um you know dangerous in my opinion and we definitely do have a possibility to fall back down to these levels i do see bitcoin uh you know drop to this twenty nine thousand eight hundred and sixty seven dollar level do expect it to bounce uh see some sort of volume come in to save the day but if this level is not able to uh, hold, let's say their selling pressure is quite sharp, then we could even possibly go down to $28,737 level. If that is unable to hold, then $25,000 is definitely on the table. But I do expect us to have a bounce back up above there. I'm very confident about that. I believe this is whale manipulation occurring right now. Uh, and um, we need to be monitoring it very, very closely. So now comes the question, what is going to happen with the altcoins? Because I know a lot of people hold altcoins and as much as you hate uh, hearing this, we just have to face the reality. If Bitcoin hits these uh, price targets that we have been talking about that I just mentioned right now for you guys, then things could definitely start looking bad for the altcoin market indeed. Looking at Bitcoin's price, I'm sorry, Bitcoin dominance chart, you guys can clearly see we are seeing a spike once again in BTC dominance. And I have been mentioning this for quite a while for you guys. When we do see Bitcoin on a shaky end of the spectrum, people are very, um, you know, bearish, uh, say, uh, thinking that Bitcoin is going to drop and etc we do tend to see btc dominance climb up because we do tend to see more money flow into bitcoin rather than the altcoins because whenever bitcoin does have sharp drops towards the downside we do tend to see bitcoin holding a quite strong compared to altcoins because altcoins will definitely bleed even harder so if Bitcoin were to go below $30,000, you know, we should not be surprised if BTC dominance gets back into this 47 to 48% or even possibly higher if we do see these price levels uh, come to reality. So we need to be monitoring that situation very, very closely. So uh, if B BTC dominance goes towards the upside and Bitcoin drops, guys, that means altcoins will bleed even harder. So, uh, you know, I always mention this to you guys. This is one of the factors that we always have to be keeping in mind when we are looking at the cryptocurrency charts. Um, doesn't matter how good a project is doing, um, you know, how much, uh, you know, gains it's making. Bitcoin can come and invalidate that in a blink of an eye. And uh, you guys know Bitcoin is definitely the king of the market. So we need to not ignore the price of Bitcoin. Long term perspective, guys, I still am a strong, strong believer that the bull run is definitely not over. We are seeing manipulation occur. We have seen this in the past. Over the last almost two months, we have been accumulating within this pattern. And, um, you know, this is acting very, very normal over the last uh, two months. But right now, we are definitely sitting in the danger zone. But we will see what happens as time goes by. But you need to be very, very cautious, altcoin holders. If you did not buy back some altcoins, let's say you want dollar cost average in and you know get into the projects that you like, that you believe in, uh, now might be the time if Bitcoin does drop to these levels, which it possibly could, like I mentioned, it's not out of the woods just yet. If that happens, then that might be a time for you to dollar cost average in and invest where you can afford to lose. Me personally, I do have some extra funds available and I will be looking at some cheaper prices if Bitcoin were to drop to these levels that I have mentioned, then I will be picking up some altcoins that I have been looking at over the past few days. Uh, but if we're looking at the overall BTC, I'm sorry, cryptocurrency market uh, market cap, you guys can see we're sitting at 1.317 trillion dollars, and so far the dominance, uh, I'm sorry, not dominance, the market cap is not looking so bad right now unless we go back down to this level 
at this 1.18 trillion dollar level guys if we break this level then things could definitely start looking not as nice uh, so we need to be looking at the dominance I'm sorry not dominance crypto market cap very very closely but so far this is looking not as bad if we are zooming out and looking at the bigger picture but let me know in the comment section below what you guys think and what are you guys doing uh, right now I know there is a lot of panic across the board right now like major major panic especially if you're a newcomer to the cryptocurrency space I understand this could be definitely a very very scary time indeed this is why guys it's very very important to always invest what you can afford to lose and if you have picked some solid projects um, you know you have done your due diligence and you have picked up some solid projects for the long haul guys these corrections or these pullbacks should not even matter to you. You should just delete your apps, like TradingView app or any crypto related app and just hold long term because long term, if you're in for the long term, there's no point in checking the charts 24 seven. I will always bring you guys updates to let you know what has been going in the market. So I save you guys uh, all the time that you need to be spending on the charts. Trust me, go enjoy life. There's no point in looking at the charts 24 seven. It's just a waste of time and the cryptocurrency is going nowhere yes 97 percent of the cryptocurrency uh, altcoins uh, will definitely fail they will definitely fail not all of them are here to stay but you need to do your own due diligence and research and pick some good projects with strong fundamentals real use case uh, that you know you do believe will stay here long term and if you did that then you know holding would be your number one key to follow there's no point in looking at the charts 24 uh, 7 but with that being said guys do not forget to come join the telegram group chat guys first link in the description box below it's free to join um, you know we talk about cryptocurrencies the latest news and trends revolving around the space and just have a great time at the end of the day please do not forget to like comment share and subscribe this does help my videos get to a wider audience so your support would be greatly appreciated and um, you know thank you so much for all the support that you guys show me I love you guys stay safe out there safety health and family comes first and everything else absolutely comes later it's been crypto ZX and peace out